All right. So today, uh, we're going to try and have a really hard squat day. Uh, and we're going to do our best to make it a hard squat day, even though we are um, without really heavy weights. Uh, <clears throat> it's really hard to really challenge uh, your body to get stronger, literally stronger, as in a lot of times people use the, the term strong in a very kind of overall general way. Uh, but I'm talking about literal strength and how, how, much, um, <clears throat> how much force your muscles can exert on an external object. Um, it's hard to do that without really heavy weights for your squat because people squat, you know, stupid amounts of, of weight. And we don't have stupid amounts of weight, but we're going to change stuff up a few different ways today to figure out how we can really challenge our, our lower body to get stronger um, while not using really, really heavy stuff. Like even if I were to take Angelina and put her on my back and start squatting <laughs> Angelina, Angelina, that's still not heavy enough. So we would have to modify that as well. I mean, I do eat a lot of cake, and I get heavy for you. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> so with that in mind, uh, let's pop a squat. Oh. Join me. Yeah. Uh, Angela and I went sprinting yesterday, so our legs are a little sore from that. We went, we, uh, we took a drive over to the high school track, did some sprints. Go ahead and lean into one knee and try and push your knee past your toes, get a stretch in your ankle. Ooh. Ankles are a little tight. I haven't sprinted for a while. Oh, it was so bad. It wasn't bad while I was doing it. Yeah. Go ahead and lean over to the other one. That one. Oh, yeah, that, that ankle's a little bit more so than the other one. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay. Stand that up. Squeeze your butt nice and hard. Next, make sure I'm in the shot here. Um, we're going to try uh, and do a pigeon pose or the best that you can. So there's a few different ways you can do this. Make sure I'm kind of in the shot. All right. So you can just put one leg out in front of you, point your toes forward, grab hold of your foot and your knee, and prop yourself up like so. If that's not going to work, then there's a few different ways you can do it. You can also keep your knee up high and put your hands on the floor or on a box. Uh, or if none of that is gonna work, um, what we can do is we can get you on your back. <clears throat> we can put one uh, foot over your knee and just kind of pull that leg forward to get the same effect. But to get a really nice external rotation, I'm gonna do the pigeon. So I'm going to plant that down. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. Right next to your foot. Yep. Now, once you're here, I want you to turn your belly button towards your heel and then turn your belly button towards your knee. And you're just going to go back and forth between those two positions. With all the squatting we're doing today, we want to make sure that our hips are prepared to do that. I'm certainly sitting a lot more since uh, I'm spending a lot more time at home, so it's really important to really get those hips moving. Kind of ease yourself out of there. And you gotta switch over to the other leg. So again, you gotta get that leg flat out in front of you or as best you can. Try and point the toes forward. The other leg's gonna be pretty straight behind you. Prop yourself up on there. And you're going to point your belly button towards your knee and towards your heel and go back and forth between those two positions. Oh. All right, kind of ease yourself out of there.
Oh, already starting to feel a little bit better. From here, we're just going to try and wake up our glutes by doing some uh, weightless good mornings. So you can bend your knees a little bit, but most of it's going to be at the hip. You're just going to sit those hips back, keep your chest up. You're going to get a nice little stretch on the hamstrings and squeeze your butt and come right back up repeatedly. Ooh. Angelina was complaining about her hamstrings after the sprints yesterday, so. Oh, they're on fire right now. <laughs> they're having none of this. Oh. Really focus on squeezing your butt hard to pull you up. And relax, shake that out. Ooh. Actually, I feel it more than my feet. Really? Yeah, my feet are sore. I'm trying to feel the back of my knees. <laughs> Last thing I'm going to do, we're going to pop that squat again. Should feel a little bit more comfy now. I'm going to take one hand, keep it touching your leg, put it on the floor. The other hand, oh, it's going to reach up. A little bit of rotation in the upper back. And then switch. Relax. Okay, so we're going to do five sets of 10 squats as hard as we can figure out how to do them. Um, so we've all done air squats, and, you know, a lot of air squats. Nothing wrong with the air squat, but it's not, it's, it's, Unless you're very beginner, air squats is going to be more of an endurance exercise. So we want to turn into a strength exercise. So um, we can either add weight, we can add time under tension, um, we can add speed, all those things we can add um, to make it to a strength exercise. So first I'm going to talk about time under tension. And what we're talking about for that is going to be tempo squats. So tempo squat is instead of just doing like a normal air squat where you just go down and come back up, we would add a tempo. So the tempo, uh, it changes depending on who's programming it, but my favorite tempo is five seconds on the way down, uh, three seconds at the bottom, explode up, so go fast up, and then zero seconds at the top, so you go right back into the next one. So if you're watching me here, that's gonna be like this. I'm gonna spend the whole five seconds in transit to the bottom of the squat. So it's going to be five, four, three, two, one. The three seconds at the bottom, one, two, three. And then come up fast and right to the next one. Five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three. And come up fast. So do that with me a few times. We'll just do like four. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, up, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, up, two more, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, up, one more, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three. So you can tell how that can get pretty difficult pretty fast, right? And that's just no weight. Second way that we can do is just adding weight. Now we don't have enough weight to really challenge ourselves for the most part, but there's some tricks we can do with it. So first things first, whenever I do a goblet squat, I'm going to steal my lead. Um, I prefer to hold it like so, okay? Um, right up against my chest, that's just going to be the normal goblet squat to squat like so. But we can make that more difficult, okay? So for example, if I hold it by the horns like this, the closer it is toward my chest, the easier it's going to feel. But if we want to make it harder, we can create more of a leverage by holding it out here, or even holding it oh, straight out. And that's going to create a moment arm and make it really difficult. So I want you to grab a weight, and you don't have to hold it completely out, but just 
a little bit out and you're going to feel a lot, a big difference. So go ahead and grab the kettlebell, I don't care how big. A kettlebell, a dumbbell, whatever you want. Good. I'm going to start with that one too. Now, if this is heavy enough, you can absolutely hold it to your chest, but if it's not heavy enough, then you can start to hold it out and give me a few spots. <laughs> <sighs> Ooh, oh, that's horrible. Pretty rough, right? <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> now, that's not going to challenge your legs too much, but what it is going to challenge is your core and, of course, your arms because you're holding it out by itself. Um, you guys still with me? Yeah. Cool. Um, we can, of course, try that as much later as we can by doing a double kettlebell swap. So a lot of times you're doing a goblet swap, we're holding one right here. If you have the equipment, you can have two kettlebells or two dumbbells and just load your body as much as you can with that. So the kettlebells, what I do is uh, my fingers are already up like this. I'm just gonna bring them together, lace my fingers together, take a nice deep breath and squat. Just like so. Bring it back down. I'm gonna bring it into the back swing. And then nice and easy to the floor so we don't break our floor <laughs> and get evicted. <laughs> Give that a try if you have two. If you don't have two, then wait for other people to get a try. Give it a try and do that. With that? Yeah. Ooh, okay. Don't be 70 pounds. That's not so bad, right? That was terrible. It's not as good as a barbell because it's still not as close to your center as a barbell would be. How are you guys doing? Okay. Uh, and then the last kind of trick that I'm going to do is we can, if you have them, uh, you can do silly things um, like adding a resistance band. So what I did is I uh, tied my green resistance band to the handle of my green kettlebell. And then what I do, it's kind of awkward getting in and out, but it's kind of fun too. I'm just gonna step in my squat stance in the resistance band. I'm going to just kind of muscle peel this up to my chest. And then as I approach the top of the squat, it's gonna stretch the resistance band that's going to challenge me even more <sighs> in that squat. So if you have a resistance band, that can be a fun way to mix it up too. Is one of those options going to work for everybody? You can, of course, just do a normal goblet squat. You can combine goblet squat with a tempo squat and do a tempo goblet squat. Um, okay, so you can combine them? Absolutely. A tempo goblet squat is probably the most practical okay. way to do it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you can choose one of those, and we're going to do 10 repetitions. Sound fair? Cool. I might mix it up. I might do one with the band. I might do one with double greens. Yeah. I'm going to start with double yellows first. Double yellows? Yeah. All right. <sighs> so. If everyone's ready with whatever option you're going to do, I'm going to start with the band. I'm going to do 10 of these. Don't, don't hit my butt. <laughs> All right. On your own, give me 10 repetitions. That was horrible. <laughs> <laughs>
Hmm. Those people doing tempo are probably still going. How are you doing, Kathy? Hi. Yeah, I did 10. You did 10? Goblet squat? Nice. Now we hmm. can add more of something else. Well, my idea was we're going to do five sets. And if you want, you can mix it up and try a different something. So if the goblet squat was on the easier side, do a goblet tempo squat in the next one. I'm going to mix it up and I'm going to use two greens uh, and just do. I'm using my. What's that? Barbell. She got a barbell. That's fine. Use a barbell. Whether I want to stay there, yeah, or try something else. I think you can use. I say either stay there or uh, try the bed. Oh, with the yellow. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Everyone else still with me? Paul, you good? Yep, I'm good. Okay. Um, in that case, if we're ready, we can do another set of ten with whatever scaling. You're playing with. I'm going to do 10 with the greens. <sighs> All right. Yep. <sighs> That might be where I keep with it today. I'm sitting there. You're sitting there? Okay. Nice, Paul. Those are good tempos. Looks real good. I like that speed coming back up. Yeah. Draining pretty hard where we are. How about you guys? All good, Alex? Gonna take a little, little short break, and then we got three more sets to go, and then we gotta do a little, a little short burner workout. Again, if you want to play with another style of squat, by all means, mix it up. Kat, did you have a squat rack? Oh, she's already gone. All right, let's catch up to Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> Set number three. Fun. 
<laughs> well, don't do that. It looked like someone was trying to join a second ago, but they're gone now. Hmm. Kathy, do you have a squat rack? No. Oh. That's a shame. I can use the garbage cans. Like this top. All right, so that's three sets. We got two more to go. Take them there, man. Thank you. <laughs> He's hitting you pretty hard, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Ten is also a lot. Oh, you, you still can. <laughs> These are loaded differently than Largo. Yeah. They're farther away from your center of gravity. Especially when you're trying to squat. So it feels heavier than it is. <sighs> Physics. Physics are a thing. We can't load our body perfectly like a barbell can. That's true. Damn physics. Damn physics. Ruining everything. Ruining everything. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Are we ready? Yeah. Round number four. Oh. All right. Oh. Ten more. Yeah, you can do it anyway. My legs need motivation. <laughs> legs are a little tired from this sprint, yeah. I'm feeling it. Those are some good tempo, Paul. Doing real good. I like that speed coming up. <sighs> nice. Give you a minute, Paul. Then we got one more second to do, and then a quick little burner. <sighs> It is very humid and very disgusting. It's uh, raining pretty good outside. Oh, yeah, it feels really nice. Yeah? Oh. Well, I want to tell you, it's 90 here with the humidity of, it feels like 97. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I don't like Florida. I love Florida. I didn't like it. I was very unhappy. I like my air conditioning. <laughs> they, they, they had air conditioning in Florida. I know, but I feel like, oh, it was just awful every time I went outside. I feel like the air was so comfortable. Yeah, the air wasn't comfortable. <sighs> Another few moments, then we're going to hit our last set. And then, uh, hey, guess what? More lower body for a little burger today. <laughs> oh, yes. <sighs> I don't know, my legs are feeling better. They felt worse earlier. Mm -hmm. No? My legs are a lot more closed than they Yeah, that's true. 
Alright. Guess we should get it done, huh? Should we? Probably. <laughs> Paul, you ready? I'm all set. Alright, final set. Last ten of these. How are we doing? We all, we all good? Looks like you're all good. Cool. So, how are we? How's our legs? I feel like I'm sucking wind. <laughs> <laughs> good. It's almost like you're working out. Yeah, almost. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, the next part. It's gonna be a quick little burner. So I got a chair here. Um, we're gonna have two different movements. We're gonna have Bulgarian split squats. Um, and we're gonna have uh, Russian twists, but both of them are gonna be unweighted. I want them fast. And it's only three rounds, okay? So we're gonna do 12 Bulgarian split squats and then 12 on the other side, because it's a one-legged thing. And then we're gonna do 30 Russian twists and we're only gonna do it three times. So for the Bulgarian split squat, um, am I in the picture? Yes, I am. So you got to get a chair or a something behind you, okay? You're going to put your foot on top of that something like this. Now you want to set yourself up so that when you're standing up straight, you're completely straight. You don't want to be like leaning forward or anything wonky. Then you're basically just going to squat. You're going to sit your hips slightly back and down. Try and get your knee as close to the floor as you can and stand up straight. If that isn't going to work, then by all means, I'm fine with you guys just stepping forward, uh, doing a lunge, and stepping back, and then doing all 12 on that one leg, if you don't have a chair or something to, to do that with. Angelina has her own chair, which you can set up. Are we gonna be butting heads? Let me take a step back, it'll be fine. Or you can even go at an angle, you wanna go, uh, you don't have to be facing me. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> we all got something working for the Bulgarian split squat? I think that's affirmatives. And then for the Russian twists, um, I want this done super fast. So either a very light weight or even no weight at all. So like, I have this little baby kettlebell that's nine pounds, okay? And the Russian twist, you're going to have your feet up off the floor. You're gonna be holding something here. And you're just gonna be twisting to either side while keeping your feet together. Um, Usually, like in the gym, I'd have like a small weight plate and I'd tap the floor on either side. I don't want to scratch these wooden floors that I don't own, so I'm just going to be going kind of close. That sound fair? Oh, and uh, one side is one, so it's really fast, okay? 
So I'm going to be up here, and this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. So 30 is just going to fly by. Is that going to work for everybody? How many squats are we doing? We're doing 12 on each leg. Then All we're right. doing 30 Russian twists, and that's one round. You go do that three times super fast, and then we're done. Oh, right. Yeah. Angelina, do you want the little baby kettlebell? Sure. Here you go. Little baby kettlebell. Okay. Uh, I guess I will just not have any kettlebell. That's fine. You sure? Yeah. Alex, you guys good? Thumbs up. Excellent. Kathy, you good? Yeah. Awesome. Paul, you good? Yep. Awesome. All right. So 12. 12, 12, 30, three rounds. Um, go ahead and get started. In three, two, one, go. Time to get to that 12th one. Burns pretty good. <laughs> Bit of a balancing act. Such a chair. Balance. 
You got it, man. Good job, Paul. Finish strong into that. 30 and go. Nice. Oh. Kathy, you good? I'm good. Alex, you good? Sweet. How was that? Not too bad, right? Challenge those squats any way we can. So after doing all of those squats, the best thing we can do is just a good old dancing stretch. Which one you can share this with me? Yep. So you go down on one knee, go out into a long lunge, keep your posture upright, stretch out those hip flexors. Whoa. Oh, all right. That's so good. Oh. Oh, <laughs> you want to make this into a better stretch, you can even grab the back foot, pull that up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Nice and easy, ease out of there. Trade places with your partner who you're sharing a pillow with. And do the other leg. Ooh, that one's tighter. Oh, that one's tighter. Ooh, falling down. Okay. Yep. Just losing my balance when I'm trying to grab my foot. Oh. And ease yourself out of there. Oh. My legs actually feel better, I think. My feet are still sore from the sprints yesterday, though. No. No? Not your feet? I don't. My feet are. Oh, no, my, my feet don't hurt. It's my legs. Oh, okay. All right, any questions or anything, you guys? Nope. I think I'm good. You think you're good? Yeah.
What, what's that, Kathy? I can't hear you. Uh, you kind of broken up. Try one more time. Um, are we doing this rep scheme on Wednesday? No, we're doing something completely different on Wednesday. Okay, so we aren't doing a sequence? Nope. Okay. All right. Have a good one, you guys. Good job. Bye. Go Bye. Bye.